what's goody sbm gang today i'm back with another wig install this wig was sent to me from prince beauty out in st louis shout out to st louis today i'm using my bold hold products to get this sleigh going this tutorial would not be a detailed tutorial only because in the middle of filming we had to go run and do a photo shoot then come back and finish filming so it's edited a little weird just bear with me My client never wears her wigs for a long time, so I don't waste my time doing small braids. Now after cleaning off her skin with witch hazel, I don't use alcohol, I go on with my skin protectant and I dab that across her skin about two times and then I go on with my boho active and I get this wig put on. Like I said, we were rushing, we had to get to a photo shoot, so I think I only did one and a half layers. <laughs> As you can see, we were very pressed for time because anybody that knows me, anybody that comes get their hair done by me, they know I like to take my time, I don't rush, but we had to get to that photo shoot, so that's pretty much why the video is jumbled up. So after putting that wig on, pressing it down, tying it, and blow drying it with cold air, I go on with my eyebrow razor and I start to cut the lace. You want to be careful when using an eyebrow razor, especially when you're using a brand new, freshly sharp eyebrow razor, because sometimes it can cut the lace too far back and now the lace is behind your glue. It's better off to have too much lace and have to go back and fix it with scissors than to use that eyebrow razor and cut too far back.
we were actually supposed to wand curl the hair for the photo shoot but we didn't have any time so i had to just do the baby hairs and we left that hair big we brushed it out and we left it in its natural state for the photos and it actually came out really cute Whew. now you see me putting the wig back on yes back on because we was out there in that sun and we had to finish the video with the wand curls and i'm a perfectionist so i took the wig off put more layers of glue and i put it right back on and this is what you have <laughs> When it comes to hot tools and styling tools, I never feel the need to use fancy stuff. I love my cheap curling irons. I've been using them since high school. I got this Remington curling iron from, I believe, either Target, maybe even like a Walgreens or something. I'm not sure, but either way, I know I didn't pay more than $20 for it. You don't need a lot of money when buying hot tools, unless it's a flat iron. I believe your flat iron should be expensive, but like curling irons and stuff, as long as you know what you're doing, anything can work. This wig was either 26 or 28 inches, but the wand curls probably made it like 22 inches. So I definitely had to pull the curls, back tease it with my comb, give it some volume and definition, and it gave. It was definitely some fun, sexy, big hair. You guys, I still have the very first time I ever wall curled her hair. It was 2016, my senior year, her junior year of high school. And she was going to the Beyonce Formation World Tour. Beyonce came to Tampa, and I remember. And I have the video. I'm going to put it up for you guys. Do y'all see them Snapchat filters? 
I remember that doll and them flower. Oh my gosh, you see that leaf out? Y'all, we thought we was hot shit in 2016, period. So after a long day of filming, shooting, and coming back to film some more, we finally got to this point right here. And this hair is everything. Shout out to Prince Beauty in St. Louis for sending us this bomb wig. I water dyed it and the 613 hair took to color so well. Shout out to Bold Hold for always having the best products, the safest products. Make sure you're ordering authentic. Shout out to my model Gabby. She's feeling like a lion right now, period. Be sure to follow me on all my social medias at Slay by Matthew. And I will have all the information for this wig and the adhesive in my description box. Make sure you subscribe, like, share, and comment, period. Bye, y'all.